Hey, pole players, do you have this problem? And you'd rather shoot like this? Well, if you thrive for that second shot, this video is for you. Once again, the Pool Student Channel, and thank you very much for watching, everyone. Hey, today I want to share with you a drill or an exercise that I'm working on right now that's aimed at trying to stop my steering of my cue. Uh, if you haven't seen my latest video, uh, go ahead and check that out because uh, I suffered from an issue that I've kind of been putting off. I've been just living with it, and that is that I'll veer my cue when I use English to try to shoot a ball in. So this drill or exercise, I still will use some running spin to try to throw the ball in, but I'm really trying to stay disciplined in keeping my cue straight after I shoot. So in other words, during the follow through. So without further ado, let's look at this and talk about it. Picked up on something really good, you guys. I'm gonna show it to you here. Notice how my cue goes off to my right when I stroke through the ball. I'll be showing you some real close-ups and some slow motions of this. Can you see how my cue is picking up off my bridge hand? It's actually lifting up. And what that tells me is that I'm gripping the cue and actually lifting the cue out of my bridge hand. You can't do that. I'll tell you what, if you can videotape yourself, you guys, and, and zoom up, you'll learn a lot. So watch this here. Now watch real close at the cue where it's in the crook of my thumb there, and it lifts right out of there. I knew right away that I was gripping my cue during my follow, follow through. So you can just see that my grip was way too tight. So that was something that was a big, big eye-opener for me. Okay, this next shot, this is the way it should look. But even here, I have a little bit of an issue that I'm gonna have to address. Once again, I'm gonna zoom up here and you can take a really good look. Now it looks pretty decent. I'm going through pretty straight. I've made some adjustments, loosened up my grip hand, but I'm now going to my left with the cue. Watch closely here and it's real subtle, but it can cause, cause an issue. You know, you would think that it's after the fact. Well, you're gonna see that this is actually during the actual contact of the cue ball that my cue is actually going to my left. Watch real close here. That's the impact. See how it goes to the left. Now let's take a look at this thing real close. And it looks like it might be after the fact, but watch here. That's after the fact. Okay, the ball is a little bit away. Now, okay, that's at contact mid-contact and then after the ball is away and you can see that my cue is actually veering as I'm hitting the cue, cue ball and here is the actual drill that I was shooting and you can see that some of these are real cringe worthy shots but by zooming up I could really pick up on some issues I'm gonna have another video coming out here real soon uh, to cover more that I see here so thanks for watching, everyone. Leave some comments if you'd like. I'll answer them all. Until next time, like I always say, keep on practicing.